Hey, it's Mike with DirtKiller.com. Let's kill some dirt. Today, we're taking a look at a really fun wood restoration project. What we're going to be doing is cleaning and restoring a hand-carved wooden totem pole from the 1930s. Uh, this is a really fun project because as you can see behind me, this totem pole was just totally grayed out, cracked, etc. And we're going to restore it, not to new because that's not the point. We just want to make it look better, bring out the colors, etc. And from here, Everett Abrams is going to take over with some commentary as we go through the process. See you on the other side. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is pre-wet all the wood before we put anything on it to restore it. So when we do something like this, it doesn't need to always have a pressure washer. It doesn't always need to be, there's plenty of ways, you know, there's a bunch of ways to skin a cat, they say. That's kind of what we're doing here. So you can do anything you do with a pressure washer or equipment. You can also do by hand and with a garden hose if you had to. And that's what wood restoration is. So pressure washing and equipment can make a big difference as far as time on a job. But when you're actually doing some of these more delicate situations, even outdoor furniture or anything, sometimes it's good just to do stuff by hand. And you can already see the nice color of the wood coming back up over here uh, where it's got like a nice cedar tone or orange tone, orangish brown tone uh, compared to where it was dark. So this is already working really well here. So we want this to dwell a little longer and just keep working. So what you do is just keep it wet so that it keeps working. So we're just misting it. So what we have when we're doing this is there have darker areas where it was a little more protected. This was more sun exposed. So when you do wood restoration, you always start out lighter and go to stronger. So while it was coming up nice, it's not perfect. And that's what we're trying to do here. So we went up to the next thing, which is using a kind of a diluted down version of a stripper. There was also little dots on the wood that looked like some overspray from a, from a sprayer, from paint from somewhere. It was just small, you hardly see it. But when you clean it up, it shows up more on the wood. So to get that off as well, we go with something a little bit stronger. And then what we're doing is you'll see it, it comes up just more rich and it'll, it'll come up that much nicer. So that's why we went, but always start out lighter and go stronger. If you start out strong, then you can't go back. This way you work your way up. To do the rinsing, so I put a little bit harder on the garden hose pressure. And that's to rinse and get it nice, all the wood fibers off. And in between all where it's uh, been carved and where the letters are, it should come up real nice. So what happens now is the, the wood darkens up because we use an alkaline on it. So anytime you use any type of a cleaner, or anything to restore wood, it's gonna be it'll probably be alkaline based. So what we have to do is neutralize that. So that's what we're doing here now. We're gonna put on a wood brightener. Uh, has everybody's heard of wood bleach? It's not a bleach, but that's what it's considered because it lightens and brightens the wood like bleach does. We call it wood bleach. So that's what we're gonna do now is we're gonna brighten the wood and bring back those natural grains, natural colors and so forth. So it should really pop after this. And then we'll start looking at the little detail stuff um, before we kind of wrap up the restoration part of it. All right, so this project's going really pretty well. Uh, not that difficult because they're using really good products. Of course, that's deck restoration plus products. Uh, now what's really cool is you're about to get ready to stain. And in the staining process, what's just so amazing about deck restoration is you can stain wet wood. That's a huge time saver. Anybody ever stained wood, you know uh, staining wet wood doesn't usually work out. But with deck restoration plus, it does. So I can't wait to see what this looks like at the end. If you look at this now, you see the wet, that wet look with the stain. And when it dries too, it's gonna look a little different, but I mean, it's, you see how we're kind of recapturing when it was wet? How about that? That looks amazing. 
So Everett, nice work as usual and thumbs up to you and your team and your products. So if anybody is doing some wood restoration and you'd like some deck restoration plus products, feel free to visit dirtkiller.com. We carry the full line. And if you have any questions about this project or other wood restoration projects, just leave a comment below or give us a call. Be sure to like and subscribe. My name's Mike with DirtKiller.com. Let's kill some dirt. Dirt Killer. Let's kill some dirt.